Hi everyone, in this video I want to introduce you how to get your idea into a software and convert it into a printing object. There are quite a few software out there that you can use. Um, there's that Google Sketch and the one that you're seeing right here is a software called Blender. You basically start with a block and you start to chip away your design you could extrude you could enlarge basically you do whatever you want with it the major challenge for 3D printer is how do you get start? how do you get your object from your mind into the printing machine? we started this idea of creating a GP 3D block so it was just a simple block and having simple extrusion cutting into the proof of the GP3D outline and we just came up with this beautiful design block that we are going to put into printing process later on. What you want to do is just move around with the view and see how you want your object to be presented and use the features with Blender. I'm going to show you how to export that into STL by going to file export you select STL file format choose the location you want to save it under and make sure your scale is at 1 if you find out your scale is too small you can always change it to a bigger scale but we'll come back to that later Once you're done with saving, you could open your Geminate program and start importing your object for print. Click on the import button and select the object you want to import. From here you could click on the object and right click and move about to see how your object looks like on the plate. You could even choose the top view, side and front. You want to make sure that the object is touching the plate. You also want to take a look at the top view and see if the object is within the built area. And we'll come back to the G code and the setting area later on in the video. Let's first take a look at some of the moving functions. You could move, you could rotate, and you could scale. Say we want to move the object about the uh, plate, check on X, take a look at the top view, and if you check X it will move along the view plate. And if you want to get it back to center, simple enough, just click on the center button. And move about the Y. This is all just so you can place the object at the right position. So move it up and down. This is quite important as you want the bottom to be touching the plate. If you take a look at the front, obviously there's a big gap, so you want to increase that. Or you can use the land, which makes sure that the object is touching the, uh, the plate. You can also rotate the object, so let's say if it's slender or you want to print it some other way, you can play with the XYZ setting as well. Again, you could go back to land from the moving tab to land the object onto the plate. You can also scale the object, or make it bigger, smaller, it's really up to your imagination but make sure the plate and the bottom of the object is always touching by clicking center and land. Let us take a look at the G code. We want to create an object for the printer to print. So we have the option of selecting the infill percentage. The higher the percentage, the more density the object will be. You always select the layer height. 
for better resolution you could select the thickness of the wall which adds more texture to the print you could print a wrap which gives more support for the object if you have a narrow bottom object I normally have that unchecked but if the object requires me to I'll do that but also note that the support the automated, automated support is based off the ref. And this here, uh, the print height, I have another video that explains how to calculate the print height. So please visit that video. You can also set the temperature. Obviously, if it's uh, PLA, you want to set it at 220 to a uh, range of 180, but I set it at a higher temperature and you want to set your platform i'm using the wood plus this time so i'm setting the temperature to be about 100 ish so the bottom will stick onto the build plate and once everything is set go ahead and connect and click on the generate g code and wait for it to be done i'm going to pause the video for now i'm going to come back when it's done and i will show you the finished product. So here it is, the Chico has been completed. Um, all I have to do is input my USB and save it under the USB folder or I'll save it on my desktop, I'll drag it to the USB later. Uh, that's all to it and you could just go to your printer and select the file and it will print. So that's all to it in preparing the file and um, we'll show you how it's printed right now. Thank you for watching this video and I will do another update soon so stay tuned.